Thank you for joining us. Hundreds gathered in Halifax today to honor the life of a woman who gave so much to her community, her province, and her country. Among many accomplishments, Doreen Lewis was Canada's first black female mayor. She died in January, but was remembered at a service today. CTV's Suzette Bellibo was there. Doreen Lewis once said, I want people to feel valued, happy, and excited about their existence. It's a sentiment that touched the lives of every single person gathered at this church. Well, I remember her just as a very dear friend who was very kind to me and to my family. Doreen Lewis died in January. Her life was celebrated at a service today. Little did we imagine that ten short years later, she would be taken from us. Eileen Keller was Lewis's best friend for 40 years. The friendship began in Annapolis Royal, where Lewis became Canada's first black female mayor. Keller says the two had many laughs. My young grandson used to visit, and Doreen would often be down, and often she drove my elderly aunt down to visit me, and uh, he thought we were sisters. <laughs> so she always called me her sister. While Lewis was known for her good humor, she also had a long list of accomplishments. She was the chair of the Africville Heritage Trust, and in 2003, she was awarded the Order of Canada, a moment her cousin remembers fondly. And that was dinner that evening at Rideau Hall, when she was selected as one of the uh, recipients to uh, speak at the dinner. And uh, while she was speaking, in the middle of her speech, she broke out into a song and started to sing. A woman full of surprises. Times described his cousin as a person who never changed. That she was the same kind of person growing up, that she uh, turned out to be as an adult, you know. She was always looking out to uh, do things for people and uh, try to uh, contribute to, to things. One of the many mentored by Lewis's hard work and words of encouragement was Janine Williams Kane. I was at the Mouse Vincent um, looking around for educational programs and she happened to walk by and asked me if I needed any help and we got into a discussion about education and how it is important for black women to be educated. Advice she'll continue to cherish and share with the women around her. Be proud of who you are and live up to your faults. It's the way Lewis lived, achieving many goals and encouraging those who looked up to her that they could do the same. This is at Belly Bow, CGB News, Halifax. A 51-year-old man has